Years later, it's a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema, 10 or more years older, still hold up. Today's episode will be on AI, artificial intelligence. It was released on June 29, 2001. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> May, Thursday. What year? No, what? Year is it? Hold up. Now, upon researching this film, I did not know and realized that this film was directed by Steven Spielberg himself, the guy who did Jaws, Jurassic Park, Schindler's List, kind of producing, getting checks and whatnot. Steven directed this film, and it's just interesting. I don't know. I just see it as like the blockbuster guy. Do you think this is an interesting film? But it takes turns that I did not expect. Like the first 55 minutes of the film is what I thought the movie should have been, or at least I thought it was. And then it takes a turn on this adventure. He meets like Jude Law, and then they have an adventure, and then it switches and it's like the last chunk of the movie and it's like whoa 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 wait a minute i did not expect this which is good but also i don't know if i love the choices that was made in this movie because i think having the whole movie being about like in this family and then having the original son come back provoking him and causing trouble that could have been good it would have been like chucky 2.0 thought of that is like nah forget that that's child's play right but i don't know i think i would have wanted this ai kid david sticking around with his family for a bit longer see how it would play out and i don't know maybe it would have been interesting who knows but i just kind of expect that whole movie to be this and and then I don't know because he has a relationship with this family more specifically the mother these two parents they think you know they've lost their son and turns out he didn't but they got this or at least the father got this AI this robot for a replacement and at first mothers the mother rejects it she's like no this is pretty messed up and it is creepy and messed up to replace your son who just died or supposedly died to replace it with this little boy who's AI if they want to keep him they have to say these certain words in their name and if they don't they have to like deconstruct him and so once they create this bond they love him at least the mother does there's that one creepy ass laughing scene Whereas it was both hilarious and also creepy as fuck. I was like, that is no. That is creepy. I don't. If a kid started laughing like that, I would freak the fuck out. But then guess what? Their son, their other son, whose name I really forgot about, is alive. So now they have two sons, one real and one not. The real boy, he like starts provoking him. It's like, hey, you're not a real boy. I thought it would have been this whole jealousy thing. And it seems like that, but the, it doesn't turn like that at all. Continues with the whole dinner scene once again where he starts eating. Like there's an eating competition between the two boys. And he like malfunctions. AI people had to come back and clear the food in his system. Them. And then there's even other boys provoking him, like cutting him, and he has this system in his head of being afraid and someone to protect him. And then he goes into full drowning this little boy as well. And then that's when the parents start questioning, like, okay, maybe this this AI isn't a good thing. And then it gets to a point where the mother just takes him and his teddy bear, which is a good ass bear, and then they leave him or she leaves him alone in the woods. And that is messed up on so many levels. They created this bond, this company that's like creating AI. They wanted to create this little boy so that he can love human beings. But in this whole beginning scene, there's also like a contrast to that, being like, what if the human can't love back? They AI and so this is what happens where she loves him but she can't love him that much because he's a robot he's not real she was afraid that he was gonna become a killer creates this like mystery being on robot they too can have like human emotions and whatnot despite being robots but that's what this whole movie is about robots AI the mistreatment of them they go further and beyond than just being robots essentially is what it is or at least what I've gathered don't mistreat them treat them like human beings like an animal like a dog is a dog but like you know it's part of the family AI robot it's the same thing in this film it's just another part of the family cries out for her with the teddy bear again the teddy bear is very important because he is the MVP of this film and then after leaving him off the film changes it shifts and i was like oh this is interesting and it turns into like adventures of david with his teddy bear where i was like this is interesting but i did not expect this at all he gets captured by the people that are capturing rogue ais other like ais their faces rip it looks cool the circus fair where they like kill ais for fun and people are enjoying it care for them doesn't matter at all they are just simply robots that's it they can't emote love and then this is what he meets his character and so we get introduced to this character by him going to like this lady's room and then he gets caught for murder I think but he didn't create the murder so he has a run by the cops and he's a part of this rogue sort of AI people thing you know we can introduce him by like talking to this lady for therapy or AI and robotic than the kid by the way I was like wait why okay David looks more real but how come Jude Law doesn't like why make that creative choice and so David while getting taken away he just holds on to Jude Law's hand and then they just kind of go together run in the woods they have like a conversation and, oh yeah and by the way when this bear gets taken off by him his mind of his own being attached to David so I just thought it was adorable him running going to the fair finding David he finds him a bunch of humans have him but he's like no give me to david he gets to david and then both him the teddy bear and judah they start talking to each other in the woods and talking about how they want to get back to where they are talk to these kids but he bribes these kids to, to this one city which looks pretty damn good this movie takes place in the future and then when they go there i, I really uh, to be honest i forgot where what the what the hell judah says and so the cops are looking for him and so they're in this little thing talking about ai or whatnot they're not real or not and then by this point in the film david wants to know like he wants to be like a real boy but then slowly realizes that throughout the film he's 
just not going to be a real boy because he's a robot and then Jude Law gets caught but then David takes helicopter cyberpunk futuristic look helicopter and then they both go off into like the city of New York which flooded by the way it was cool like we only see like the tall buildings they were deep underground flooded now why is it flooded I don't think they explained or if they did I did not pay attention the change of scenery is cool and different I don't know if I like it and then we come to a point where David does realize he's not human so he gets pissed off he wants to be human he like starts smashing things or whatnot Jude Law gets caught and he finally goes to the cop AI or whatever so he gets caught he's gone now it's just David again and now we switch to like David's sort of I guess switch from David's adventure to like David's inner needs and realization that he's not human he wants to be human he sees the different version of himself realizing that he's just a clone he will never ever be an original boy or real boy at all because he's not real while I do like that it was plainly obvious that's what the whole story was poor David he wants to be real he can't it's an impossible dream and it's just a dream it's a pipe dream it'll never happen wanting to go back to his family to Monica and that his little other boy and family wanna it will never ever happen and so he realizes it so him and his teddy bear they go in this like helicopter ship thing and then they freeze to death and then it's like years later okay i don't know how long but then there's these other alien looking things that look like they're from like x files or something like that where they're tall and they have no face they revive david and his teddy bear and they talk about how humanity has changed and the world has changed and i was like both rich shocked and just in awe being like man this film's going all out it's just like way way in the future okay and so this alien or whatever or creature i don't know what the hell it is because it gives david this device being like hey you can relive your best memory with your favorite person and so david decides to live it with monica his or what he thinks is mommy and just live with his mother once again they get to do everything that they need to this only lasts for about a day and so it's like this really heartfelt moment and it is because all he wanted was his mommy he was built that way I think he's only one of a kind and so he gets to live his very fond memories and life with his mother until it's over and then it's over also there's this thing about this like fairy thing which just kind of threw me off there's like this fairy thing i was like why does he like this fairy thing okay fairy thing is just there all right whatever but it just tells him the story of like reliving memories or like i don't know i forgot what the hell this fairy said but i just didn't care for it i was like i don't care about this fairy stuff i'm just gonna ignore it it's part it is important but and it probably means something but the movie's almost ending so it's like you know what david already had his whole art completed getting to live with monica having this realization or his dream of being a human impossible learning through jude law and like, his adventures with him and by the end he has to let go and so he let go and then the movie ends in a fade out or something i think the movie in the house it slowly fades to black with the whole life turn it off and then that's how the movie ends so david gets what he wants kind of this realization that he can be human but he learns why he learns to accept it he learns to move on from it live his fond memories within his own mind or device thing and yeah that was ai so it's definitely like a roller coaster in terms of being a movie where it's his family thing and then it goes through the adventures of him and jude law and his realization that he can be human and then we go way into the future again so i like this movie but i think like i said in the very beginning of this video i would have wanted the whole movie to be about him being this family changing this family changing the dynamic of it i think would have been cool but maybe i don't know spielberg and the writers were like shit we don't know what to do after this point just screw that we'll just do the adventures of him going around the world and that's cool but it's just i didn't love that i really would have wanted the whole family thing so in the end ai artificial intelligence 20 years later still holds up i like the movie it's a good movie but it's a movie that i would never watch again so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching